Good afternoon, Pokey Sports. I want to another VGC Battle Stadium Series A video bring you Dusk Main Necrozma. Now, this Pokemon is disgustingly tanky and does way too much damage, so I hope to get to showcase it well enough today. It doesn't have access to full metal body or, you know, just pretty much clear body. Uh, so it is kind of weak to Intimidate and also weak to Burn. So we have the Lumberry here just so we can at least cut one of those away. And because we're weak to Intimidate, we do have Thunderous on this team with Defiant just to, you know, shoo, shoo our opponent from wanting to leave with that Intimidator. And if they do leave with the, the Intimidator, then we have the Thunderous to, you know, just prosper from that. Uh, moving on to the rest of the team, we do also have, speaking of Intimidate, we have our own Incineroar. Wow, here comes Incineroar. <laughs> So it took a little bit of a break from the channel, but here it is back in all of its former glory. Um, also, this team is by Squiddle VGC, by the way. It's not my team, uh, but we, do, we did uh, play with it together and did try to fine-tune it to be as powerful as possible, obviously. So if you guys want to check out Squiddle, he does have a Discord that I know he does. He is very active on. He does have, like, live team-building sessions and stuff like that on the Discord. I'll make sure to link that down below. Also, just to give him a lot of credit, he just made it into the Seniors Players' Cup. So, give him a round of applause. Yeah. Continue with the rest of the team, though. We got Rillaboom for Fake Out and Assault Vest. And we have the Gastrodon to counter Kyogre's. Obviously. And last but not least, we have a pretty interesting pick. We have the Hydreigon with black glasses. I'm super excited to see what Hydreigon has to do here. Because Hydreigon is very good against opposing Necrozma's. Against Calyrex Shadow, against Solgaleo, against a lot of Psychic types that are hunting the meta. So, Dark is a very strong typing. Let's hope we don't get smacked by fairies too much. Anyway, that's the team. If you guys are excited for Necrozma Dustman, you know, do hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. I've done so already on a road to 10,000 subscribers. And let's get on to these battles. Oh, gross. It is not every day that you see Calyrex Ice Rider. Especially not next to Venu Cole. They do kind of have a massive fire weakness on their team, but I don't really have any strong fire types to really deal uh, that kind of damage to them. I do think my Thunder is going to be very necessary for this game. Might even be a lead. Who knows? Um, Let's take this opportunity to go Thunderous Necrozma. That way, if they set up Trick Room, I can at least undo their Trick Room. I think Incineroar is also a big player in this game. Can go against that uh, Calyrex Ice and uh, deal with it a little bit. Uh, don't really need Rillaboom. Don't really need Gastro. I'll settle for Hydreigon. Hydreigon also does well against the Calyrex, so we can't complain about that. I really only have to worry about the Finny when it comes to Hydreigon. Hopefully I don't regret not bringing Rillaboom, though. Because Rillaboom would have been an easy way to just take out the Finny. Okay, I think Joel has a nice trainer card, but it is kind of basic. It's just nice because you got all three of the decks. The dex is finished. Congratulations, Joel. Not impressed. Calyrex and DD lead. All right. Like I said, here we can prevent Trick Room. Which might be the play for us. Tell you what, though. My... My Thunderous does not like staring at the face of that Calyrex because of the potential ice move. I'm going to swap an Incineroar for now then. Just get the negative one. And I think I Swords Dance before I Trick Room. I feel like I should definitely wait to Trick Room, right? Because they might... Yeah, I saw his dance before I trick room. I'm gonna try to set up Necrozma here. This might be getting a little bit greedy, but I'm gonna get this uh, Calyrex to negative one. And I don't want to trick room the trick room if they don't trick room, because then I give them trick room, if that makes sense. It should. There's the follow me. And there was no Dynamax, so this is gonna be a follow me trick room. So I could have trick roomed this turn, uh, but at the end of the day, it's fine. This next turn, I can go for a Burning Jealousy. And I can Trick Room. So, that's what I'll do right now. I'm going to Burning Jealousy, and I'm going to Trick Room the Trick Room. Actually, is there a point? Or should I just Dynamax and start setting up? Skyrex at this point isn't that scary to me.
So then they just trick them again. But at least I forced them to trick them again. Oh no, not if they die. If they die in a max, they can't trick them again. So I should just trick them to trick them. Okay, good. I think that's uh, that's definitely the right play. Because I was thinking about that Torkoal coming in next turn and ruining my day. I definitely need to be able to outspeed a Torkoal at the very least. Withdraws and DD swaps in Torkoal. Landorus. It's going to suck a little bit for my... My Necrozma, it doesn't suck for my Incin because I'm going for a Burning Jealousy here. And then the, the Dynamax, nice, okay good. They just Dynamax here. Now, they're going to go for a Quake or something at negative one. I should be able to take it. And then I'm going to go for a Burning Jealousy after they raise their stats and burn the Calyrex. This is going to be super worth. I think we're going to definitely take home the positive trade in this scenario. Yes, okay good. Perfect. They chose Zinsen. Even better. Even better. Oh, I'm gonna get a double burn here. Wait, this is big. Oh, I'll get wrecked. Oh, your life orb too? Perfect. Not even popping a weakness policy here. And double burn. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Burning jealousy Ensign. The Squiddo special. Not even bad. Setting up trick room. I'm gonna undo your trick room real quick, sir. Thank you very much. And now that you got rid of your really fancy, uh, your really fancy trick room option, I can go for parting shot onto Calyrex, and I can sweep up this Landorus real quick, while also racing my stats on a Crosma. This is gonna get really disgusting really quickly. See the grin on my face? I can't wait for this to do something. <laughs> Uh, Dustman and Chrysam has got to be one of my favorite designs, by the way. There isn't much that I like about Gen 7, but the one thing I do like was their legendaries. I'm not too keen on Ultra Beast, but I really like their legendaries. Okay, that's fine. I guess that makes sense. Even Burn just took out my instant, which is a little bit sad, which means I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I'm not able to get the parting shot off, but at the very least, Lander should be getting off the field right now. They could bring in their Ndidi again. Which I think they have to. There's an, another quake. This is a negative one burnt quake. So you can raise your... Look at that, man. Plus prison armor. That's just hilarious. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Calyrex just turned into a, not a Pokemon. Alright, let's go into Hydreigon here. So if they bring in the, the Ndidi, we want something to deal with it. We do give the Calyrex something to take out and maybe even, you know, knock out. Really depends on how much that Hailstorm hurts. But at the same time, knocking out the Ndidi would be big. Oh no, they send in Finny. Alright, so they really have no offensive pressure left is what they're telling me. And I think I actually will take a turn to just, you know, sack off the Hydreigon. I, I just want Hydreigon to do some damage to Calyrex, so, I don't know, I get rid of it faster. And I'm just going to fire off a Steel Spike into Finny. This is still a plus one Steel Spike from a big old Necrozma Duskbane. So, this should still hurt Finny a lot. Might not take it out. Will hurt, though. We'll also get to see how much damage... We can do two Calyrex as well. I think no matter what happened, uh, Hydreigon doesn't... Oh, we do no damage. <laughs> Hydreigon has definitely not impressed me today. Okay, good. I, I honestly prefer that Finny knocks out Hydreigon so that Calyrex doesn't get a boost. Also, keep in mind, this was a plus two special defense Calyrex, right? But regardless, let's see what we do here. With the Steel Spike onto Finny at plus one. Good. Riddance. Hailstorm. Oh, the, were, were they not expecting to Oko with just a Moonblast? I don't see any way that my opponent takes out my Duskmane at this point. All, right, all we have left is a Thunderous. 
Which doesn't really help us too much, but we don't really have an option. And they have their NDD. In DDD. Setting up the second terrain again. Now their Dynamax ends. We still have ours intact. I think they just follow me and Trick Room here. Just so they have a little bit of a chance left. But we're just gonna call their bluff. And I'll double into the Calyrex. The reason we're doubling Calyrex is just because if they don't Trick Room, then. I mean, if they don't follow me, then whatever. We just hit the Calyrex, and then they have no offensive pressure. But if they do follow me, we just follow me the NDD and knock out the NDD. Should be more than enough to KO here. Plus all the defense boosts that we're getting on this Necrozma right now. This is like the, the ideal showcase for Necrozma. Like, if you see a Necrozma team, this is what you want Necrozma to do. Is to just take control of the battle and never go down. Ever. <laughs> It's so disgusting sometimes. Now let's see what Kyler Kyler's going to trick room here. Like I said, Kyler X is going to get one Glacial Lance off. That's about it. But it's not surviving a Sun Steel Strike. They would need a Super Mega Duper Crazy Crit to have a chance. They might not even take out Thunderous. Guess only one way to find out, right? <laughs> Goes for the Glacial Lance. Does not take out Thunderous. And it will go down to Necrozma. Well, actually, one of the hardest counters to, to Calyrex Ice Rider, now that I'm thinking about it. It's like... There's literally nothing Calyrex can really do to Necrozma. <laughs> Not too bad for a showcase. I hope the rest of these battles do as good as that one did. All right. <laughs> I'm immediately afraid of the Calyrex, but we do have Hydreigon to deal with it. Actually, Hydreigon is pretty good here because there's really no fairy type moves that scare us too much. There's actually not a lot of moves in general that scare us too much. I'm a little bit scared of the Urshifu for my Necrozma. That's kind of what uh what Thunders is for, right? Let's go Necrozma lead, go Thunderous lead, bring Hydreigon in the back, followed by an Ensign. I think that's okay. We don't really need the Gastro. We don't really need the Rilla. I mean, I guess Rilla could be a little bit useful, but it just kind of falls to Intimidate. Let's... The Gastro would also be nice for the... For the Nihilego, but at the same time, it's like, oh, we just kind of fall to their Rillaboom. And to be honest, Rillaboom would take care of Nihilego a little bit, just because of how strong Rillaboom really is. And all in all, the Intimidate doesn't really help us too much. So let's go ahead, we'll bring the Rillaboom here. We'll try our luck with Rillaboom. Alright. I always get nervous when I use someone else's team. Me and this guy have the same pose. Uh, but yeah, I always get nervous when I use someone else's team. Just because uh, I didn't build it. So there are probably like some small nuances that I don't notice. When it comes to playing out the games. But hopefully that's not too much of a problem. My opponent just gave us a uh, free plus one. So I will take that to the bank. Thank you very much. Now, this is kind of why I had Thunderous on the team. Like, yeah, our Necrozma gets its stats dropped, but that shouldn't matter too much at the end of the day, because we can do this. We can click the Swords Dance. And I think I want a Dynamax and... Do we attack Nihilego? A Knuckle might do a lot of damage to Nihilego, but so would a Lightning. I think I just go for the lightning on the Nihilego. Nihilego has like no defenses, so as long as Nihilego doesn't like Dynamax, then we should be fine. We should be pretty much a, that 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 should be a secure knockout there. 
And also, Incineroar being on the field does... Oh! They're giving us a second opportunity to get a plus one. I'll take that to the bank. Thank you very much. Sends in the Rillaboom. Wonder why they wanted to switch out the Incineroar out of all Pokemon. Now, Thunder should be outspeeding the Helego as well, so... The stars should be aligning here. But like I said, if Neelego Dynamaxes, that could spell the end of my Thunderous very early. So let's cross our fingers and pray. <laughs> um, what does Rillaboom do to us? I don't know why. Rillaboom just kind of seems like a weird pick. Dang it. It's not great. It's not great. I don't think we actually take it either. But at least we burnt their Dynamax on the Nihilego, right? At the very least. Now let's see how much this does at plus one. Oh. <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> I did not expect that. Not bad. I dropped my pen. I gotta write that down. I always write notes in the middle of these battles to tell Berm. Uh, YouTube.com slash Pokeberm, by the way. To tell Berm, our editor. Hey, this was funny. <laughs> Do something with this. So, I'm gonna write it down right now. Nihilego. You got that, Berm? Nihilego getting... Oh, code. Not bad. Oh, we got another Defiant Boost. <laughs> What's happening? So far, this is the Thunder Showcase. Uh, all we gotta do... Is EQ? No, 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 because that... Oh, yeah, we can EQ, because they're not on grassy terrain. Perfect. EQ, followed by Airstream on Torilla, and that'll, that'll be that, I guess. Battle is cancelled. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> Well, at least we know that happens. Um, so far, so good. We'll see what happens in the next one. It is not every day you see a Seismitoad, Drake Assault, Gyarados team with Kyogre. I definitely love Gastrodon. I definitely love Rillaboom. <laughs> and I definitely love Sneezing. All right, so what do we, what do we do in this scenario? Thunderous has to come. Rillaboom has to come. Um, do they lead with Dracozalt because they know that we have to lead with those two? I think we have to bring the Rillaboom in the lead because we have to deal with the Whimsicott. Might even be like a Whimsicott Dracozalt lead, right? I know it seems kind of weird, but it could also be a potential option for my opponent. We'll go Rillaboom to Krozma, bring Thundee in the back. Bring Gastro. Win game question mark? Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Now, the Indeedee is a weird ch choice for my opponent. I don't actually know what's to come if that Indeedee comes to the game. Also, Seismitoad though? I know it, gives, it gets Swift Swim and stuff, but you never really expect to see it. That's a dive ball. Kyogre Indeedee. Well, I got Rillaboom and Krozma, but they're going to prevent my grassy terrain by setting up the psychic terrain for sure. Yep. All right. Um, which means I also can't fake out. Very smart play by my opponent. But. I have a pocket Dynamax. My pocket Dynamax is Rillaboom. I wonder what will do more damage. Probably Dark. Onto... Because we're not in grassy terrain. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to max Darkness. And then... Set up a Trick Room. Yep. <laughs> um... Pocket Rillaboom Dynamax time. I, sometimes you got to do it, right? And I feel like this might be that one time. There is no way Kyogre should be able to di uh, Oko my Dynamax Rillaboom because I have a Soul Vest. 
And I'm pretty sure it doesn't Oko my Necrozma as well, because Necrozma is Necrozma. I mean, it could be helping hand boosting right now, which would be very, 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 very bad. Okay, good. Just follow me. I'm fine with that. I kind of uh, anticipated that. And then there's the Water Spout. Ouch! Didn't anticipate that. Well, Necrozma, so far, you had a great showcase on the channel. <laughs> What? Oh, okay. I, d I really didn't expect that, but hey. That was a very fast Kyogre, by the way. What are the odds it's Scarfed? Let me bring Gastron on, just in case. Just in case it's Scarfed. Okay, well, sends out the Whim, so I definitely wanted to bring the Gastrod on here. Whims never carry Energy Ball, though, so we should be fine with Gastrod on the field. I'm just going to G-Max Drum Solo this Kyogre right now. I'll go for an Ice Beam on the Whim. If this is Eject Button Whim, then, uh... Dang it. <laughs> and oh well. <laughs> Double Swaps Kyogre sends in what? The Drake is ult. Followed by Charm. Psychic Terrain, dude. But thanks for wasting a turn. Um, this will still be do, you know, it'll still do some damage. Oh, half. Okay, more than I expected. I still get this Ice Beam off. Nice. All right. So far, it's not too bad. It was a Jack Button Whim. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess the Jack Button wouldn't have happened either because of uh, the terrain. So that's fine. Alright, Rillaboom is just going to go for another drum solo, except on Skyogre that time. And I will now go for the Earth Power onto Drake Assault. Now, the, the fact that they switched out the Kyogre there, and if they switch Kyogre here, they're going to convince me that they're Scarfed. I'm thinking they're Scarfed. Just because of how they swapped their Kyogre out. Yep, they're, they're Scarfed Kyogre guys, by the way. There's no reason Kyogre shouldn't just protect at least one of those times. Goes for Outrage. Wow. That hurt. I don't want him to do that again. But here's why knowing that Kyogre is Scarfed is important. Because he now brought down my... My Rillaboom to an HP that... You know, that an Ice Beam can knock me out. Anything can really knock me out. So I'm actually going to sack off whatever I have in the back. Which I think is a Thunderous. Just to preserve the Grassy Glide. Should I even do that? I do have Thunderous in the back. I'm just going to Grassy Glide naturally. If he locks himself onto Water Spout, he loses the game, so he kind of can't do that. Yeah, so he's going to lock himself onto Ice Beam. And I'm just going to keep firing Earth Powers till the end of time. There's the Dynamax, so he's going to go for the Hailstorm here. They have to. If they go for Geyser, they just buff my, my gas shit on the whole time. This is why gas shit on... Is a great addition to the team. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in the Crosma though. <laughs> Hailstorm, yep, locking himself on the Hailstorm. All right. On to Gastro too. So they're gonna let the Rillaboom be on the field, which is an interesting decision. But I guess the Gastro does threaten them. Oh, I'm not even doing half health. Wow. What are the odds there are No. They, they can't be assault vested. I'm just not doing damage. Well, I guess I don't have the grassy terrain either to boost my damage, right? Regardless, we still do the exact same thing. We have no reason to change yet. Like I said, we can kind of ride this out. There's no point in making any useless switches because we have the tools needed to win the game in the back. They're going to go ahead and knock out the Rillaboom, which is fine after realizing how little damage the Gastrodon does. They technically could still win the game if my Thunderous somehow doesn't 
get this attack off. I think all this residual damage is going to end up racking up. Nom nom nom. Eating that citrus. Terrain goes away. Shouldn't make much of a difference. We go into Thunderous now, and that should be G. G. We bought every single Kyogre counter that we have on our team, and trust me, we have plenty. Because <laughs> you need it in this metagame. Earth Power followed by Wild Charge should be the end of the game. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice. I feel like my opponent might have had a chance there. Just seeing how much damage the Outrage did, if they Dynamax Wormwinded my my Rillaboom, I feel like I would have gotten ruined. I would have definitely been set behind a couple of notches. I'm not going to lie. But hey, we take those victories. Not bad. And with that, that is the Necrozma Dusk main team. Huge shout out to Squiddo for, for building this team and letting me use it here on the channel. I, this team is actually very solid. There's only one Pokemon that kind of disappointed me a little bit, and that was Hydreigon. I just feel like most of the time Hydreigon just wasn't doing enough damage. Uh, but maybe that's just my personal experience with Hydreigon. Who knows? I could have just been getting very unlucky rolls for all I know. But all in all, Necrozma is disgusting. It does an amazing... Uh, you know, it, it's just an amazing Pokemon because you can do so much damage and live so many attacks with your prison armor. It is weak to Intimidate, but the Thunderous supporting it helps so much. They really want to start spamming Intimidates. You just whop in your Thunderous, let your Thunderous get Defiant Boost for free, and then just take over the game from there. Um, the Gastrodon against Rain Teams. Beautiful. Magnificent. OP. I love it. And then Rillaboom, of course, is Rillaboom. We can't really go wrong with Rillaboom or Incineroar. The, the Burning Jealousy on the Incineroar, by the way. Uh, I'm also looking at this. It's a special Incineroar with Will-O-Wisp and Parting Shot and Burning Jealousy. That's really that's really interesting as well. Um, came in super clutch that last game. Burning the Calyrex definitely did help with uh, taking over the game and then just stealing our victory even more. Anyway, if you guys want the Rental Code and the Poke Paste, it will be down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below and check out Pokesports.org for our merch, our damage calculator, and a bunch of other stuff. The team archive of every single series six seven and eight team that i have um series nine is going to be series seven so hey maybe you want to go back and look at my series seven teams anyway i'm kevin this focus sports have a great night peace out